Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing my June favourites. So I don't do a favourites video every month just because I just it might be hard to believe but I just don't use that much like different makeup. Like I don't change it up enough to warrant like a different favourites every month because there would be so much like repetitiveness. So I'm just going to show you what I've been loving in June. So if you want to see products that I've been loving this month then just keep watching. So there's not a ton of products this month but there is still like quite a few um so I'll just get straight into it really so the first one is this made by Mitchell Blush Disco in the shade Creamy Bellini. I am absolutely obsessed with this it's like a champagne-y colour like it is literally so beautiful so what i do is i literally just put a bit on my eyelid and then i take like a fluffy blending brush and just tap it out on my eyelid so that it gives like a really nice like fine shimmer effect it's absolutely stunning it is like a it's a liquid eyeshadow um it is it dries down fully Um, it's not completely the same as drip 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 has more like fine shimmer particles in it whereas this is more of like a it's hard to explain but like you could just put this on your eyelid and it would just dry straight down and look just like a normal um liquid eyeshadow but you know when you start getting like the brush and kind of like tapping it out that's when the glitter kind of really shows so yeah i've been absolutely obsessed with this lately and i did order the from head to rose and hold my gold shades in it because I've been so obsessed. So yes, that's been a firm favourite this month ever since I got it. Um, and my next favourite is something I've been loving for quite a while now since I got it. The Fenty Heat Gloss in Hot Cherry. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with this. You can literally see how much I've used it. Um, You can, yeah. This is absolutely stunning Um, I love the plumping effect of these glosses but I also just love the colour of this one like it's unbelievable it's just that really nice sheer kind of juicy red lip like it's not like really bright like this on your lips like it can look super natural or you know you can pair it with like um a red lip liner and it can be a really nice red lip but I like how versatile it is like I could just put it on with a brown lip liner and it just looks like my normal lip colour enhanced slightly um, or I love pairing it with I'll just get into the next product really I love pairing it with this lip liner from Doll Beauty this is my favourite lip combo at the moment so this is the Spice Up Your Life lip liner so this is absolutely stunning it is like like a reddish brown kind of I'd say there's like a swatch of it so I love pairing it with that lip liner I just think like when I put that lip liner on and then put this on top that is just my favorite lip combination like ever yeah they match together so perfectly and I'm obsessed but I just I love this lip liner because I feel like it goes so well with like a pinky nude kind of lip um as opposed to like a brown lip liner because I just I like this because it's got like this the reddish undertone to it so it kind of um you know it's good for when you kind of want like a reddish lip but you don't want like a full bright bright red and it pairs really nice with like nude pink lipsticks as well so it's really versatile in that way too so I've been loving that um Next I've got another Doll Beauty lip liner, so this is in the shade You Go Girl. So this is apparently their best selling like red toned, lip, pink toned lip liner. So I'll just swatch that beside. So, so that's, if you can see that is um, Spice Up Your Life and then that's You Go Girl uh, lip liner. So yeah, I'd say You Go Girl is a bit more like pinky and Spice Up Your Life is a bit more like ready brown toned but yeah they're both super stunning for like a nice like you know when you want like a nude pink lip but you don't want a brown lip liner 
that like these two are perfect for that because they'll just give you like such a nice like pinky kind of nude lip just because sometimes I just don't like wearing a brown lip liner like with a like a pink a nude pink lipstick I just think sometimes I prefer like one of these lip liners because it kind of gives you like more pinkiness into the lip um and that's what I love so next one I've been loving is a highlighter so this is the love island and revolution one got had this for a while now but i absolutely love it i've got it on today it is literally it's so it's so beautiful um it's not like an icy white it's like a golden tone but it's like this is the lighter of the two from that collection but yeah i'll just i'll swatch a bit of it for you because it's literally like it just has like that like champagne goldy golden like undertone it is like literally look at that like it is just stunning i just think when you're pale it's kind of hard to find a highlight that will work for you that's not like bright icy white but i absolutely love this one so so much so yeah um it's in the shade so lit so this is the lighter of the two shades that they do so i've been loving that it, it just it blends really well it doesn't like gives you such a nice glow to it like kind of like a wet looking glow and that's what i love about it so next i have the Eck and so radiant glow in the shade um zero one light so I put this underneath my foundation and um, if it wants to focus this goes underneath my foundation and then I put my foundation on this is because the nicest like radiance from within and like a pro like a really good like underglow primer type of product and um, it is a bit on the pricier side it's £17 full price I think or £17.95 £16.95 one of those two Um. I have been using the Primark Flawless Glow an awful lot, but I just feel like this is so much nicer for, like, it just really makes your skin glow. And I really, I think you can really tell, like, when I put my foundation on that I've used this. And yeah, it just makes me feel so, like, nice. Like, I feel like it's such a nice, luxurious product because the packaging is so nice for a start. Um, it's got that really like luxury feel to it and I just think the, the smell of it as well it's, it just smells so nice like I don't even know it's not like fragrance or anything it's just you know the smell of it is just it smells like when you go on holiday like that kind of smell um but yeah I've been absolutely loving that because I just I feel like it moisturizes my skin too almost um yeah I've been absolutely just obsessed with that lately and so next i have another doll beauty product so this is so doll beauty recently relabeled like all of their well repackaged like all of their original lip glosses and i got picked up the two that i didn't already have honey pot and loaded so this is the shade loaded it's described on their website i think as like or like it was described in their tiktok as like a peachy color but honestly it's so i just can't like i think it's more of like a pink when you put it on like it's like a really high shine like metallic pink kind of color but like um not too in your face pink like as you can see like it just it blends so nice like with like one of those lip liners um it just really the high shine of it is so pretty like it really gives like such a nice shine of your lips um yeah this has been my favorite one since i got these glosses and i wish i had got this gloss sooner because it's definitely a me kind of gloss yeah the packaging is so nice as well the new packaging that they've got um like the metal tip applicator and everything it's cooling on your lips as well but i just think like this is literally so high shine i am obsessed with it it's very like metallic looking as well like not so much like sparkly i would say but like a real like metallic look 
of it. So next, um, my last two products, which I love to pair these together as like a blush combination. So first up we have P. Louise The Cheek Give It in Lolly Dolly. I'm obsessed with this, like just look at the colour of this. It is kind of like a really bright pink colour, like it almost looks really light there, but it's not like it's such a nice almost neon like pink i don't know how to explain it but like a nice like really light pink color i can't i can't get it back in the tube um get the lip back on um but yeah really nice like almost neon pink but not like full neon but it's just like a really nice like doll pink color like is honestly stunning and when you put it on your cheek it seems a bit much but then when you blend it out it is literally the nicest blush ever and it pairs really well with this next blush so this is the Trigwell Cosmetics cheek and eye blush in the shade Bellini Baby and yeah I have been obsessed with this because it is not like a really light light pink blush but that is literally just to me that is per the perfect light pink blush without it being too light like when you want something you don't want you want kind of like a not like a really really bright in your face um hot pink this is just so nice yeah i just think this is literally i love the way it's like cool toned as well i just think like pairing those two together gives like the nicest like almost like baby doll cheek kind of thing like a, a doll kind of cheek um but yeah so i'm absolutely loving these trig well blushes like in general like i said i have or i don't i can't I don't know if i said in this video but i do have tropic like it's hot on today and i'm obsessed with their blushers so i hope they release more shades of them because i need to collect more shades of them um but yeah bellini baby cheek and eye blush literally these two together i have posted a tiktok with these two together to show you what they look like so if you want to see what they look like go to my tiktok same name as my youtube but yeah these two together amazing so that is all my favorites for june so let me know what you think down below are any of these products in your favorites for the month let me know what were your favorite beauty products for june and if you did enjoy this video it would mean a lot if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future content but yeah um i really hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon in another video bye